What's up, everybody? So, a lot of good news, a lot of good news. For those of you guys who know, we have been creating this Second Coming documentary, and it we've made a lot of progress. We've made a lot of progress. The only thing that we're waiting for now is animations and Bible verses and things like that. But we, ha we have made a lot of progress, and it should be done soon. I'm very excited for this film. I'm very excited for it to come out. Again, this is one of the biggest projects that we've ever done in this ministry. It, it, it will be out on YouTube for free. It will be out on YouTube for free. So it's going to be a bit, I believe it's going to be a big deal. And I, if you guys want to support that project, you guys can do so by sharing that project when it comes out. Now, we have a special appeal for you guys. We are going to be doing four more projects. Two of them, I can't say what it is. It's going to be a surprise. One of the two will be with a big Adventist uh, pastor. Can't say who. I can't say the name. I can't say the name of the project. Okay. And two of the documentaries, rem remember I said four, two of them I can't say. The other two is going to, one is going to be about baptism. And the other one that I'm very, very ex excited about is going to be about Mrs. White. It's going to be about Mrs. White. And this is something that I'm very, very excited about because I have yet a lot, I have yet a lot of things to learn about Mrs. White. I'm an, I'm an Adventist. I've been an Adventist for about eight years now. And I still are, I'm, I'm still not as well versed on Mrs. White as I am with the Bible. You guys already know I'm very well versed on the Bible. I read the Bible almost daily and I do Bible study videos. If not videos, I just do Bible studies on my own daily, daily. And so I'm very well versed with the Bible, but with Mrs. White, not so well versed. I've read The Desire of Ages, Patriarchs and Prophets, um, uh, Prophets and Kings, The Great Controversy, of course, and some of the Acts of the Apostles, Ministry of Health, and other books and other writings of Mrs. White. But this is a project that I'm very, very excited about because it's going to be a learning process for me. And you guys are going to get to see the journey. You guys are going to get to learn what I'm going to learn about Mrs. White. And I'm going to I'm going to capture everything on camera. So, it's very exciting. It's very exciting. I'm I'm going to be talking to again big names, bigger names um in and in, in, in Adventism. Again, I'm going to be talking to Pastor Ivor Myers, Ryan Day, Dakota Day, possibly Doug Bachelor, possibly Steve Wahlberg. Um Possibly some other names that I can't really say right now because if I say these names, people are going to jump out of their seats. But anyways, if you guys want to support this project, four projects, if you guys want to support this project, please partner up with us. Please partner up with us. These documentaries are hard work. It takes time and effort, and not only that, it takes a lot of money to, to do all these things. We might have to hire more people to operate the cameras. Of course, we got to hire more people to do the animation and illustrations and things like that. And so it does take a lot of funds to get this done. So we are going to do a GoFundMe for these four projects. If you guys want to partner up with us, what you guys can do is pray for these projects, pray for this ministry, share these things, share these contents, and also donate at schoolforprofits.tv or donate at the GoFundMe. The GoFundMe will be in the description box below, and it will also be um, at our website, schoolforprofits.tv. If you guys are inspired in your heart to do so, again, please pray for these projects. Please pray for these documentaries and also donate at schoolforprofits.tv. Link is in the description box. Thank you guys again. For those of you guys who have been supporting this ministry, thank you guys for all your support. Thank you guys for the encouragement that you guys have been giving us um, throughout all these, you know, all these years. You guys have been encouraging me and encouraging our team to keep doing what we are doing. Thank you guys for that. So again, if you guys want to be partners with us, if you guys want to want to want to be executive producers of these four projects, pray for these projects and donate at schoolforprofits.tv. Link is in the description box. Praise God always. See you guys on the next one.
We cannot, we cannot afford to let the critical goal of limiting global warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius slip out of our reach. And those impacts are getting worse and could potentially be irreversible. The debate over pre-trib, mid-trib, and post-trib is uh, quite a debate. You know, some people think they're, they're, they're pre-trib, they believe Jesus is coming before the tribulation, or he's coming in the middle of the tribulation, or he's coming at the end of the tribulation. We don't know for sure when Jesus will return, but God does give us several signs, several markers that we know that the end will be near. Many of those are seen in Matthew 24. We have things like wars, rumors of wars, um, pestilences and earthquakes and all these events. You know, there are a lot of dear Christians that are mixed up regarding the, um, the events, the chronology of the coming of the Lord. Uh, all Christians agree there's going to be a tribulation. You can't escape what Jesus says in Matthew 24. There's a time of trouble such as there never has been coming. Jesus is actually quoting Daniel chapter 12 where Daniel says in chapter 12, at that time, Michael will stand up, the great prince that stands for the children of thy people, and there will be a time of trouble such as there never has been, even under that same time. So they all agree there is this great tribulation that you read about. As you look at all the passages regarding the second coming, you realize these are things that you're gonna be able to see. Every eye shall see him. The elements are melting with fervent heat. I, I don't know if you've ever been in a sauna. Um, we know it gets past 120, 130, you begin to feel it. And I, I don't know exactly what temperature elements begin to burn up, but I'm sure it's going to be quite hot. And so that's not something that you could sort of ignore. The Bible is clear that we are going to hear Jesus come back with a great sound of a trumpet. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, beginning in verse 16, the Bible actually says, For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout. He's coming back shouting with the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet of God. So again, you don't see that in many of the ideology and, and, the, and the teachings of today uh, in modern Christianity. Most of them teach it's a secret silent event, but the Bible says when Jesus Christ comes back, he's gonna be shouting in all of his power and glory. He's gonna be excited to see his bride whom he has been separated from for so long.